um of Lucio Bugatti faced the tribunal and uh you know revealed some shocking you know secrets that of course some shocking events that took place in the bombers you know during the August 9th election now folks for gone let me take the time by saying hi to you I believe you're doing well wherever you are of course here if you're new here take your time subscribe we meet here always now um is saying that um, the portal uh, USA and other countries had access to the portal yeah the portal that of course you also that was streaming in results from different counties or areas of you know, across the nation now um, something interesting that came out here is that Chip Gatti is saying that um, the Americans do not interfere with elections even though they seem to be having great interest you know in accessing the portal of the server yeah and of course Trailer himself said that Chip Cutty conspired the Americans to bungle his win of course you didn't know what is really what really happened or what really took place but also who knows that uh, as me saying that yeah who knows that as me saying that yeah, USA and Chebukati worked together to bungle his win. Now, another revelation that I think came out there is that Chebukati is saying that Rafael Tuju went to his office. Yeah, he said that you used to sleep at the bomb at the bombers. Though Raila is saying that Chebukati escaped and was missing in action for like three days, but Chebukati is, is insisting that he used to sleep at the bombers. Now, um, he's saying that this one scenario, one is there's a day where by Rafael Tuju, the then second of Jubilee went to see him, and actually Tuju offered some great, you know, incentives. Like Tuju offered some great rewards. He was told, if at all, he would announce rather than the president. Then, of course, he would given billions of of shillings. He is saying that he refused because he wanted to deliver a free and fair elections. No, I think the question we need to ask ourselves here is Chebukati lying? Is it in the truth? Um, so many Kenyans believe that Chebukati is lying. Why? Because if at all you conducted a, a, a free and fair elections, why is it an issue for you to, you know, um, an issue to you to, you know, um, open the servers? Why take like why when it comes to open the supper you you know you, you you lose your temper yeah if at all you you conducted a free and fair elections i think it will it should, it should be easy for you to open the suppers because you got nothing to hide but for this case chemkati has never opened the servers and is being whenever he's told by Rela Modinga to open the servers you know he brings out some excuses even the company that was taxed with overseeing the elections smart matric said that they could not open the servers, yeah, because um, the servers, you know, um, the servers can expose other data belonging to other countries. Now, see now the puzzle where the puzzle is, because people like, like who is telling the truth? Because you here you're saying that you conducted free and fair elections, yet you cannot open the server. Now, um, you know, it's obvious that so many Kenyans, people who are, of course, affiliated to uh, the Rellas coalition believe that Chebukati was paid by Ruto to bang on the elections. Why do they believe so? Because they say that um, the language that Chebukati has been using, the manner in which Ruto has been glorifying Chebukati of late is questionable. Because if someone did his job, someone, you know, um, conducted a free and fair elections, why do you have to glorify him? Because, you know, you only glorify him when you're hiding something. So these are shocking uh, instances that has happened that of course leaves so many questions to Kenyans. People are like, what is really happening in Kenyan political arena? Right now, um, Ruto is you know, recruiting a new team that will of course uh, run IBC. And Riley really said yesterday that Ruto cannot do it alone because he is a player. He can't choose the referee, which is true. He should let Kenyans choose the referees because Kenyans are the ones who vote. Yeah? So why should Ruto, a player, a key player in the next election, 
choose the referee. So most probably the referee will you know um, favor him in the next election. That, 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 that's a common sense to me. So as I, was, I think uh, uh, the, the choosing of IBC officials should involve all Kenyans, okay? Because it should be um, a neutral, uh, a neutral, a neutral process. Let me, let me put it that way. Now, um, Nelson said, "He said not 2027." Nelson said that he cannot expect anything in 2027 because the player himself has already, you know, um, harassed officials in IBC. So everyone who will, be, who will be left there will have to work for him. Of course, you can't be such, such a person. Yeah? How can you be such a person? You know very well that. Uh, IBC has been having issues, and even uh, 2017, uh, Maraga and I fight the elections and say that Chepkani should conduct a, uh, no, uh, another election. Of course, Maraga saw some discrepancies in the election, yeah, and he saw that Chepkani was not fit to run under to no to run an election in Kenya. So when Raila demanded that Chepkani resigns, he refused, and Uru defended Chepkani at, at the time. So it means that Chabukati is someone with a questionable character, yeah? He's someone who cannot trust it. Because all, the, all these events, if you are a sober person, you will realize that Chabukati is someone who cannot be trusted, yeah? Uh, even though he's defending himself, he's saying that the four commissioners did not raise any issue to him. And actually, he's saying that the ISMU people, the ones who wanted to pay him, wanted to coerce him into announcing Raila the winner. Now, um, <laughs> folks, I'd like you to tell me in the comment section, do you think Chepkati is telling the truth? Yeah? And what do you think is the role of Americans in these elections? Because Chepkati is saying that the Americans uh, had access to the, to the server. What was their role? Yeah? Because if they had access to the portals, it means the servers, they could, they could also manipulate the servers. Tell me in the comment section. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you.